we have a lot of uh, land and water interface in our jurisdiction and so we wanted to make sure we have the capabilities to respond to those water calls. Uh, we get those annually and there's kind of a jurisdictional boundary or line below the surface uh, which is the police's jurisdiction uh, but we work really well with the sheriff's deputies in Marysville PD uh, in trying to get the, the help to the people uh, that's needed for that time. So we have uh, 12 members on the team, there'll be three per shift and they're able to operate in um, surface water rescue uh, which all of our members will be trained are trained to that uh, so if somebody's floating in an inner tube or, or has capsized a boat on the surface they can respond to that and they can also the, the, the best capability for the rescue swimmer is the ability to go below surface uh, down to about 40 feet of depth uh, to retrieve a drowning victim we also are able to operate our, our boat operations uh, for dive injuries or swim in traumatic injuries uh, from boats in the water we can backboard people and, and get them out safely that way. It only takes going on one drowning victim, most likely a young adult or a child, to want to have an answer for those, those things. I think our citizens expect us, you know, when they call 911, they expect us to have an answer to those problems. And for us to order everybody out of the water and not be able to do anything is, is really disheartening for, for them the family members and friends, and for us as rescuers. We, we want to be able to help and to have a team that allows the opportunity and ability to get in and, and make a rescue in that environment. Uh, that, that's why I wanted to be on the team.